Hi, and welcome to Eskimo TV. We're talking today to Rob Watt. Rob is an independent addiction psychotherapist specializing in sex addiction. He most recently managed the addiction treatment program at the Priory Hospital of Roehampton and is currently trustee on the board of ATSAP, which is the Association for the Treatment of Sex Addiction and Compulsivity. Hi, Rob. How are you? Hi, Joanne. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Rob, let's talk today about um, an interesting addiction, the Internet. What yeah. is an addiction? In terms of the Internet, um, I suppose, you know, addiction uh, can be described as a behavior that you can't stop, if you want to keep it simple. So, you know, quite often uh, it's, it's a behavior that's quite normal and, you know, fits into normal life, but then you find yourself uh, not being able to stop that behavior. That's addiction. How, how would you know if you had an Internet addiction? What would some of the signs of, or symptoms be? Well, um, the obvious signs were that you'd be spending an awful lot of time on the Internet uh, and, um, and, and above your allocated time, if you like. So, I mean, if, if it's your job and you're supposed to be on there eight hours a day and that's what you're doing, then that's one thing. If you're supposed to be doing something else and you're finding yourself eight hours on the computer, then you've got a problem. What causes Internet addiction, um, you know, perhaps in comparison to what causes other addictions? Well, I think, uh, I think it's about opportunity. Um, and I think with the, with the advent of, of, uh, of the Internet, um, it's, a, it's a very stimulating experience. So, um, you know, it's, it's quite often new, it's groundbreaking, I mean, it's quite sexy, uh, there's a lot going on, you're interactive, so um, it's very stimulating. What, what would you say would be some of the various types of internet addictions? Well, it kind of breaks down into, into, into quite simple categories. There's your obvious uh, porn, um, then there's gambling. There's internet surfing. People spend hours and hours and hours just not really going nowhere. Um, there's the social networking aspect of it. Um, uh, there's blogging, tweeting, and, of course, there's gaming. Do men and women differ in what they become addicted to? In terms of the internet? Yes. Uh, yeah, I suppose... Uh, and, I, and I'm going to be, yeah, quite gen. Of course, it's a very general sweeping statement, but but they do. Uh, and so, if you want to look at something more, you know, uh, specific as as porn, uh, then uh, what is viewed uh, would would be would be selectively different. Uh, and I th and I think uh, dangerously here, I'm going to suggest that perhaps social networking might be. Uh, um, uh, women may well be more interactive around that and men may be more interactive around, around porn and gaming. It's a man's thing. Not always, though. I need, to, I need to highlight that. Who is most at risk for developing um, addictions, Internet addictions? Well, I mean, you know, at, I, I think we all are, but, but I think um, the vulnerable, the lonely... The isolated, those are the, that are depressed, uh, those are who, and I could be talking about any addiction here really, but those who want to escape their reality. It's a great, fabulous, immediate, instantaneous, anonymous way of uh, changing who you are. What can you do about an internet addiction if you feel that you have one? Well, you know, it, it is, as, as you've just described, an addiction. There are there are websites. I mean, I would get a hold of your GP. It is becoming recognized as an addiction. There are support groups out there um, uh, that are the equivalent of Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous. Uh, there, is a, there is a lot of help. You can go online, ask for support. It's about recognizing your issues. If you're worried, um, just reach out. There's lots of help there. Thank you, Rob. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Absolute pleasure. I hope it was helpful.